Hi, my name is May and for today's video I wanted to share my spring favorites with you. I tried to put them into sections and I'm starting with fashion. My first favorite item is this yellow jumper. It's really cozy. I really like this. It's a little bit warm for summer so I don't know if I gonna wear it that often. And I really like the color, it's bright and sunny, and yeah, it fits perfectly with my next item, it's this pair of trousers. What I really like is they're stretchy and they're not, not really high waist, but kinder up, up here, so you don't have to worry to um, wear a belt. The last fashion item is this denim blouse vest. I've been looking for this a very long time. Like you always find the denim jackets and they're from my opinion way too rough to wear them to work or something. So I like it because it's like flowing. If you want you can kind of tie a knot here in front. I'm just gonna do this like so. Um, yeah, if you want to change, change the style. I have finally a piece of clothing where I can wear my enamel pins with. They're my, my favorites. A little sorting hat and a little Recorder. The next things I want to show you are the things I bought at the Creativity Trade Fair I went to last month with my mom. I bought two stamps. I hope you focus. This one is like uh, writing, and another one is this one. Focus. Is postage one penny, and it's like. Silhouette. I bought these because I really, I really like the vintage style of it. Oh, they're dirty. <laughs> I've already used them. Um, I bought these two ink pads. Uh, one is the vintage photo, and the other one is a really nice uh, violet. They're really, really, really rich. So. You have to be careful using them. Uh, I, don't know. I still have stains on my fingers. You can use a tissue paper or something. Um, put it on on the stamping pad and kind of smear it all over the the card or what you wanna what you gonna work with. And it gives it a nice faded color so you can use it as a background color. I've got a lot of things uh, I can use for baking. The first thing is this silicone mold. It has little, I don't know, pins? I don't know what to call them, with different silhouettes. You can use it with fondant or chocolate. I rather use chocolate than fondant. I don't know, it's just what I prefer to work with. So I can't wait to use them and to decorate some cute cupcakes with it. Speaking of cupcakes, I've got a really cute cookie cutter. It's a cupcake. It's imprinting the cupcake shape onto your cookie so you can later decorate it with icing, uh, exact the same pattern. Another two cookie cutters are these two. As you can see you can kind of push it and it imprints the design. The next section is, I don't know what to call it, technique or like gadgets for computer stuff and things. So I'm starting with this little pouch and it contains a really fun feature for my iPhone. These are lenses. 
And they weren't really expensive. I've got them from Flying Tiger. So they are fun to use. I not as good as a fish eye for DSLR or something. They're definitely fun to take pictures with and it adds an, a nice little touch to your photos. The next thing I want to show you is my Wacom graphic tablet. I've got this for my birthday. Um, I really, really, really love this. It's my favorite thing so far. It has a nice mint blue color. It's the Intuos Art, the medium one. I used to work on a small one. It's like it was like this size, which is okay if you're starting to use graphic tablets because they're not too expensive. Uh, but I figured out they're sometimes too small if you like drawing uh, stuff and you're gonna end up drawing on, on this bit so it stops kinda your movement. So I got this one. And another cool feature of this tablet, it has a touchpad. So you can actually use it with your finger. If you work with Photoshop, you can easily turn your pictures and yeah, it's one of my favorites. Another thing I bought recently is this light right here. It's a newer, uh, I think you pronounce it like that, ring light. It is a really nice addition to my setup because the lighting isn't the best if you use only your room light. I love the look it gives your iris, like the kind of ring uh, it gives you. you probably seen this in a lot of photos, but I really like the effect. Although it's not the best if you wear glasses, because you end, you're gonna end up um, having a huge reflection <laughs> in your glasses. So. That's why I put it over there and my camera right here. I'm a huge Disney fan and recently I ordered some things from the Disney store. So I'm starting with this mug. It's from Snow White and like the evil queen's apple, she, the poisoned apple. And it has really cool shine and it's a nice size, so I like bigger cups because I always tend to drink a lot of tea, so I don't want to always run to the kitchen. And I actually want to thank Courage and Kindness on Instagram. Because she put this mug in her Instagram story and I didn't know that Disney store got this back in stock so thank you for that it's my favorite mug so far I, I, I don't know if it's only me but it's really satisfying to buy new notebooks and pencils they recently got a collection of Winnie Pooh stationery all with the original artwork of E.H. Shepard and you have all illustrations with little quotes from the book and on the back it says oh well <laughs> it's really good and my favorite Disney thing ever are the Disney Tum Tums <sighs> these are tiny cute looking um, I don't know rice sand filled plushies this is the small version of it. They're medium and big size as well. The latest collection were the Sleeping Beauty ones. Oh. <laughs> the sleep were the Sleeping Beauty ones. I've got the three fairies, Briar Rose, Prince Philip, the Owl, and Sleeping Beauty in the pink dress as well. One of the music albums I've been listening to over and over again lately is Ed Sheeran's latest album, 
exactly right and it's really nice and has many different songs on it like some of them are quiet and some of them are really happy and upbeat. My favorite soundtrack at the moment is the soundtrack of the game Rhyme. It's a puzzle adventure kind of game and it's, it has really nice scenery and it looks kind of like painted with watercolors. The soundtrack brings across the emotions really well. In my opinion, the soundtrack is probably one of the biggest parts what makes a game amazing. Rick and Morty is one of my favorite TV shows I've been watching lately. It's different to the things I normally would watch. It's about Rick, a drunk scientist, and, and his insecure grandson Morty. And they're traveling through different universes and timelines and they get in a lot of trouble for it. It's really funny and the humor is like really into your face and sometimes a little bit offensive but I still enjoy watching it and it's really fun once you get into it so maybe give it a try and watch two or three episodes of it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I tried to put a link of everything I mentioned in this video down in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!